This is a very important program, the Stay in Long Island Scholarship, because again, not only addressing the brain drain, but keeping talent here in Long Island. In 2010, when I approached the other presidents about the Stay in Long Island Scholarship, uh, they did not hesitate at all. Uh, to date, we have over $5.1 million awarded since 2010, over 190 scholars in the Stay in Long Island Scholarship. And the other part too, I extended that to a Stay Within New York State Scholarship. We've uh, awarded over eight scholars so far, $215,000 to date. We intend to expand that program. The next iteration will be uh, having them stay here and get jobs in Long Island. So that's the next iteration of the program. So I'm excited. Uh, we have, we've changed lives, we've transformed lives, and my goal is to keep the region with the best and brightest right here in Long Island. So that is my goal. And the Soli Scholarship meant everything to me. It provided me with an opportunity that I never thought was possible for me. I put in a lot of hard work these two years and upon receiving the scholarship, I truly felt like everything was totally worth it. And now I have this new sense of motivation to be on track to have an awesome future, to really improve my life in many other ways other than just my academics. So this scholarship has enabled me to really to really believe in the power of, of you know, hard work and dedication to achieve goals. I would have probably really struggled to move on in my higher education journey. Um, this has kind of fast-tracked that for me, and I'm very thankful. The Sully Scholarship has enabled me to really seize the opportunity for future prospects of innovation. The, the innovative capacity that you can gain from truly being inspired by an opportunity like this to go to a four-year school, to pursue truly the journey to pursue the joy of chemistry is truly unlike any other that you can experience in one's lifetime. It is an unbelievable opportunity. This scholarship means that I would actually be able to pursue my major. Without this scholarship, I wouldn't have been able to continue my education and so I'm very thankful that I was able to receive this scholarship. It's an opportunity, an opportunity to kind of have a second chance at everything. Uh, I'm a little bit older, you know, I'm 27 years old, so to be able to come back to school and be able to qualify for such a scholarship, be able to receive it, it's an amazing opportunity that not only affects me, but the family that I'm creating, because I'm getting married in the fall, so it's, it's amazing to be able to have this opportunity now. It actually gave me the opportunity to go to the to continue my education and achieve my goal to becoming a uh, marriage and family counselor. It just meant a lot because I feel like I put so much hard work into school and it finally something that paid off with it. Um, I paid for my own schooling and uh, you know school is crazy expensive nowadays so it's really nice to finally have something that takes off a lot of the pressure with school. It's been an incredible journey here. I've been here for quite a number of years, more than I thought, but it was, uh, I, um, I'm very, very grateful for the path um, that I took, and my life was changed by the faculty in this, in this uh, institution, so it's been incredible. I'm very excited to pursue psychology. Right now, I'm looking into going into getting a master's in industrial organizational psychology. Um, I learned a lot from so many professors at Suffolk, such as, uh, Professor Jill Malik, um, Dr. Ryan, they really inspired me and they really helped me out. It was extremely important. It's allowing my dreams to really become a reality. I don't think I would have been able to go to St. Joseph's without this opportunity, um, but it's truly impacted my life in more ways than I can say. In acting, in the theater field, uh, training is everything. So being able to venture off to a new school and experience new training was uh, a great experience. And um, I'm loving every minute of it. So hopefully I'll be that much more prepared once I hit the real world. <laughs> Before I decided to go back to school, uh, uh, well, I'm a recovering addict. I'm a recovering addict and I, I came back into college after being clean for a little bit, for about a year. And uh, I found the Access program which paid for me to come back to Suffolk Community College. And through here, through the experiences of recovery, I was able to succeed in college and further my education. So I'm taking that and moving forward to uh, finish up my bachelor's degree and hopefully my master's after that. <laughs>